Uh, hey out everyone, Christian here. Before we jump into the main topic, I want to remind you guys that um, in a previous video I made an Algimi grid guide about how to grid the skill in an effective way. For those who haven't watched it or doesn't know how to grid this uh, skill properly, the link is shown in the description and I do recommend to watch that before you jump into this one because Algimi is just more than a production skill. It has also experiment and in the late stage they also release transformation and transmutation which I will teach you guys how to do these activities. It isn't very difficult but you need to know the basics before you jump into it. Just to bear in mind is I can show you guys uh, a full uh, walkthrough about the source that I will be using because in the past month I have uh, problems with my uh, software. My windows kept crashing the, uh, for three and a half weeks. I've been troubleshooting these times and I had many blue screen of deaths despite any emptance that I've made. At the end the final cause was just that my solid drive was uh, not really healthy anymore so I decided to replace it and also reinstalled windows. So yeah it worked well but uh, apparently Google Chrome uh, settings has changed as well so I apologize for that in advance. But enough talk about the introduction, let's jump to the main activities that I will teach you guys. Uh, let's see... Alright. Well, we are now in the quarters and I'm this is sitting with her in uh, there. I made Adeptrope uh, after I was done with winning the Alchemy Quint. And yes, I made a new goal today, and that uh, is for getting my gear of uh, my Altune uh, Christian Gazi. But I will show you an uh, example of experimenting and how you do transformation as well, and also how you do transmutation. So, yes, let's uh, start out. So we will go first to the bank. Well, let's uh, see about uh, my other two. Well, as you can see, I have uh, forked my gear already before the update of Atlantis. And it was pretty costly to do this, and I'm not really satisfied yet about the current stats that I have been shown. I want to upgrade my attack a little bit more, and with the Atlantis release of yesterday by Papaya Play, I foresee the possibility, and with the ancient technology, the Transmutation success rate in base has also increased as well by 20%. So I will use this opportunity to get the cheapest way I can get. So I'll take the equipment out of here. Let's trade with them and uh, get those parts. Oh, I have almost no room. And see, I don't need those tickets for a while. Well, as you can see, the, each equipment that I got from Gazi, or for myself, of course, uh, it has already defense power uh, max forward and I want to uh, forward attack power as well and I do believe it will be pretty costly. Before I will, will do this I will show you how to do experiment. Experiment is uh, very different than uh, production skill and you have to bear in mind that with experiment the Oxford skill the increased production rate success rates won't apply at all. The only one that factors the success rate of experiment is the adapt title. 
this title can be acquired once you have uh, granted your alchemy base rank to 30 or higher as, uh, as you can see here but yes for experiment you need uh, about at least uh, three types of ingredients and I will sh show you a part of the source that I've picked it up let's see well, one example that we will do is uh, experiment with the green ores there are all other kinds of stuff as well like uh, the blue ores, white ore, red ore you can even um, use ultimus rope to make an uh, adept rope that I'm currently equipping but yes this is the one that I will uh, make use of it you can see uh, the green ore as base material that is needed and uh, you need a certain apparatus and I will show you how to craft the, that, which uh, book you need and a certain reagent that I have already stockpiled in bank and uh, this is uh, how it uh, works and uh, you can also see what, how great the probability is of each uh, possible production that product you can get out from experimenting you can see how difficult it, can, it may be in my experience uh, these ones aren't uh, so hard except for the adapter rope and adapter beauta you need them uh, some players are doing over the 50 abdons even with adapt title so bear in mind that uh, you have enough resources to uh, do these experiments but at the end it's really fun to do because it is very different than uh, how it works in produ production skill and if you are dedicated for this skill it's actually pretty fun to do so it is not so bad at all what uh, unlike most players think about it but yes Let's go to the main activity. Before we start the experiment, I need to get those ingredients out of it. Oh, the green ones are here. I have actually much more. Wait. Ah, there you are. My uh, storage is a bit messy because uh, I had not the opportunity to organize it properly. And. Yes, here are all the experiment materials that I have uh, gathered in this storage, so I can always do experiments whenever I wish. And for the second period, we need experiment file. And the third one is the uh, Ventus Reduction. In order to make those experiment materials, you need uh, the following recipe. The first one is the expert craftsman training spoon. You can make experiment blasters like uh, distillers, test tubes, funnels, etc. It is one of the most basic ingredients you need because you need also to make ointment. This book can be obtained in Java port after investing 300k ducats there. Then the next one you may need is the craftsman's tree some handy experiment materials that you may need because uh, those are the second ingredient for the experiment this one is obtainable at Kenya port uh, with the Fuyan K investment that you make you can be obtained at again just like with Jaffa of course so that's uh, pretty good if, in case you lost this book and last but not least in case you, uh, you want to do uh, all the experiment that requires uh, all the apparatus that you need this one and this will come uh, from Cario items here for 100k ducats each and just bear in mind that uh, you won't get all giving experience from these ones the main because the main skills are just regular production skills so these ones will count towards your experience for the production skill but yes let's go uh, to the alchemy lab I tried to prepare it a bit better for this video, but uh, I don't want to make a pretty long one again like the last time, so I will do this a bit quick for you guys. Before you start experimenting, you need always uh, an alchemy lab in your quarters. One of them is uh, the alchemy bench lab. As shown in IVO, this is the one that we need, but you have also an alchemy uh, kill. You can craft these from one of the NPC towns, but there is a B. One is at John D. 
uh, in London. And on the other one is at Parcelous Estate. And this is it. And he mainly offers you to make this furniture for transportation. But we'll come back later with that. And before we start, if you don't use the right kill, you won't find the right experiment that you're looking for. So, for example, if you use the kill for a green or experiment, well, as you can see, you won't find uh, the right material that you need to do a perform experiment, and you can't do it at all. So you, you need this one. But uh, I notice uh, I'm full of inventory space, so uh, let's make a little room. Ah, there it is. Well, as you can see, this is how the experiment interface looks like. At the left side, you see the ingredients. And the base ingredients, and that is the, this time green ore that we are looking for. The bitter sources are the experiment uh, up items that you uh, need to import from the experiment. Well, this, this one is what we need. And actually, usually there are more chemical options, but we only need the fantasy reduction to make this this way. And you can have uh, the following possible outcome: it can either fail, the, uh, and that can damage the enhanced uh, lot lab bench. You can also have uh, nothing. And keep also in mind that regardless of the outcome, the, these these two supplies will be consumed. And what you also, along with the ingredient, and what you also should know is that you can also get a normal success and also a great success as well. And that is uh, something that uh, we want, the great success of uh, this experiment. So let's try this out. One, two. Now we have Jade. That's one of the common outcome. Try it again. Still nothing. As you can see, the slime gets consumed if it fails, but at least the uh, main ingredient may not consume. So that's a good thing. My apologies about the uh, previous mistake, just but I go a bit too fast with uh, the recording. And as you can see, it is a pretty challenging to get something that you want in the experiment. And it can so take so many entrants to get the product that you want. Those outcomes aren't often worth it uh, over your uh, cost that you made, but if you... Ah, there it is! The course ring. Uh, in and so you can uh, uh, that is the fun part of the experiment because if you have a certain goal and you get it out then you can be really proud about it and this one is actually part of the memorial album for the forbidden alchemy book that most plays are demanding because it is uh, just an alchemy boost for Nemba and uh, great increase Let's see. ah there you go as you can see, I have completed already this one, but I still want to show you that why people are doing still experiments, and this is one of the main purpose. And I hope with this video that you get a bit clear picture how it works. I feel there's fortunate more information about it and uh, what materials you may need regarding it. But I still want to repeat it for those who doesn't know and uh, how it works in practice. So by this, I hope this part helps you out. It. And then we go into the alchemy transformation and the transmutation and that part is a little bit more tricky and more expensive as well and which I will explain soon but before that I will get the basic materials that I may need 
for the transportation. Well, there are two types. Uh, the transformation is something that uh, changes your material into a very different type. And uh, you have to bear in mind if you do a transformation, all the improved stats that you have made on that uh, weapon, equipment, or uh, any accessory, those ones will be resetted. So think about it before you perform any transformation. Say a please for the uh, potentially or transformation that I mean transformation that updates the same thing and the stats will also be reset that you have improved the, from the base material so keep that in mind so yes one of the main things that you need for the transformation or the transformation is a special purchase bond this one is a uh, cash item that you can buy from the cash shop or from the captain it is pretty expensive and not cheap to use. I stockpiled so many of them uh, to make sure that I can perform experiments, especially at Atlantis release. So I will, I will use the opportunity uh, to do this. But I will show you a simple transformation that I can perform for you guys, and that will be making wind of return. And I will show you a website that I will. I'm using recently, and that is the Japanese wiki. It looks like this. As you can see, I have used the Google Translate uh, manually. Usually, if you have a go to a website with a foreign language, Google translates automatically. But for some reason, it doesn't work for me anymore ever since I reformatted my Windows. So I have to do it uh, manually. But yes, in this page you can find uh, all the information you need to how to perform the transformation or the transmutation and what ingredients you may need. Just keep in mind that the translation isn't exactly correct as the actual game uh, is show in Maris. Moreover, the ingredients are needed the same uh, because in Japanese we can uh, have some basic ingredients that doesn't relate about cash items. All we does because we are preserved is mainly free to play. And the base success rate is about the health of the Japanese surface. So as you can see for making the Oigala for Mysterious Gold, the base success rate will be 25% for us. But since Atlantis is released, it has been increased by 20%, so it is 45% stat. But I will make the width of return for you guys because it is a bit uh, cheap for, uh, for me. Because I may need the main materials for the main transmission I made before. Back to the game. Uh, let's see, what do I need? I may need unicorn at least. This from the store, and let's see. Oh, I have everything. Oh, I have the rare books. I need some crystals. One thing I want to tell you also is that the interface of the transformation and transformation transmutation is exactly the same, except the outcome uh, has some different manners. The transmutation is often you is something that you enhance the material uh, of the current um, base item that you uh, want to enhance, like equipment uh, that gives an additional boost, like. Uh, for example, my Algemus Robax. I have transmuted into an X item that uh, allows me to uh, get more supplies uh, from the market keeper that I can buy. And this can save a lot of purchase order categories that I've been using. But back to the main uh, purpose. 
Oh, well, look here then all. And then you see here interface, you can here select the base item you want and you see a certain item is glowing and in this case is the seal of silk. And as you can see that means that you can either transmute or transform the item. And uh, those who doesn't glow, it doesn't mean that you can't do anything with it, but they uh, still can if you check out. And you see here the possibilities that shows up this by selecting a type. But some items doesn't show anything at all, so for example this one. Even it's optional, but you won't see anything. So to look carefully which one is possible to, to perform a transportation or a transformation. What I also want to tell is that at some point you cannot uh, perform it to Tasmania always. It is also an up limit for that. For example, for uh, the plates, it's maximum plus two. But uh, with the regular tools, you can go beyond that. For the equipment, it's the maximum uh, up limit uh, 25 attack and defense. The condition is that it must at least have a base e attack or base defense. So, for example, if this suit wouldn't give any attack power I couldn't uh, put attack power at all on this uh, equipment and uh, so that's all the basic rule that uh, you should know but we will trans transform this seal of silk to the wind of return that I've shown in a, in a source new station and here we go transformation is what you want And here is the, how the transmute interface looks like. Actually, it is rather transformation, but uh, the game part is a transformation still. As you can see, the base success rate is 45%. Usually, it's a 25%, but Atlantis uh, ancient technology which allows us to have a higher success rate. And you here see you see the success rate of the transmutation material loss of the rate and it is regardless if this if it fails it also succeeds or even if it succeeds the material will be still gone and the unicorn technique this one is not available for regular transformation of or transportation enhancement of equipment because uh, this is generally meant for a great success uh, transportation and for equipment that you wish to for or cannon uh, piece power that you wish for so for this one it isn't available but back to the main uh, purpose you can use uh, secret tags and as you can see I can uh, go a few steps beyond and uh, depending on your alchemy rank you can do them up to 5 times my alchemy rank is already rank 40 so I can't do all of it, but you can uh, increase it up to 70% if you uh, work like that. But what you also have to keep in mind is that the material, that the material items will also increase. And well, for this one, it isn't so bad at all. But for the other ones that they are already more expensive, you have to be careful what you are doing. And I will also show sooner cost-effective way how to perform transportation but let's uh, try the first anthem of this as you can see we will perform the transformation now and let's see if it becomes a success oh also if you fail even uh, if it fails sometimes you get an alchemical egg and this egg can contain some useful alchemical materials like seals uh, ointments etc but sometimes you get nothing out of it and it can be frustrating and this is like with ship building fusion you have to gamble with it and uh, it can be frustrating when you're doing this so you have to be patient and calm to do this as I've experienced how much rage I had in the past when I was doing this the first time especially when the materials were too expensive so again, ah, too bad. Well, I had not uh, sufficient uh, books. It 
a shame because uh, if you had a success on it, you will not have the wind of return. It will turn. It will convert the seal of ship into the wind of return. Sorry guys if this uh, one failed. But I will also show the transportation part and that is enhancing the equipment of it. Let's push the trace color bit. I need my uh, adept ropes this time to use as an uh, example to enhance the e equipment of it. So I have to change this. Uh, well actually, you can also trans transform this uh, these equipment as well, but I have already an ultimate strobe, so I see no point of it, so I will just mute. Adapt Yurta and Adapt Rope instead. I get this out as well. For the main transportation, the, often the basic ingredients are those 10 million shacks. Even though I don't understand for why they did that because it doesn't make any sense at all. You need a special purchase pond and you have also a food ingredient that you may need for its transmutation and uh, it can be for volgende keer either a uh, reagent like this one or you need origanum and for exiting items is uh, origanum of the essential you need, the food ingredient. Oh wait a second, I can uh, actually show how to perform transformation for Mysterious Gold. Why haven't I thought about it? Here it is. Dang. I have so much uh, materials holding <laughs> that I sometimes forgot uh, what the one I am supposed to bring. Get some Oigalum. You can obtain Oigalum also in a Temple of Poseidon from the boss statue's treasure chest. But in rare cases, you can also find them in regular floors sections of the Poseidon dungeon in Atlantis. A lot of glowing parts that I can just for. Well, in order to make the Oigan, you need to transform uh, the Mysterious Gold into uh, Oigale. The Mysterious Gold can be obtained in the King Minus Dungeon at the Minotaur Boss Room. Those are pretty hard to get, but uh, after the introduction of Boston and the Railway Road, you can also receive them from the event box that those NPCs sell to you. But as you can see, the success rate for this one is also increased. A please for every kind of transmutation uh, that you uh, transformation that you will do for any uh, consumable or equipment parts, or ship parts. Well, I have uh, brought three kinds of books, and I will show them right here. There are three kinds of books techniques. First, start with the book of Euroburos. This is the ex most expensive one. It, it that uh, players are selling it, mainly because uh, transmutation of the alchemy rate comes guaranteed, which means you don't need to wiggle the dragon book at all, nor you need to use any techniques to raise the success rate of it, so you will save the materials as well. Also, and the wingless dragon, uh, even if uh, the, 
transmutation will fail, the material loss will be prevented fully. And a unicorn, as I explained earlier, this will guarantee the great success for, of the transmutation for forking equipment or cannons. It will disappear regardless if, the, if your uh, anthem will succeed or fail. It's the cheapest one that you can get and that's why it's also easily lost. But yes, I will use one of these books and, uh, and I won't increase the, any techniques at all. You can use both books for those buttons. And I want to use Wingless to Dragon. And if you click, you will see the material loss rate is zero percent. And also bear in mind the Wingless Dragon book is also lost even if this promise will be succeed. So let's see if we get a success. It failed. But even if it failed, you can the materials aren't lost at all. And let's try another one. Transportation is successful, and here you get Oigalums, and those ones are the basic essential you need to do uh, equipment X effects for it. Uh, I will show you also a sample of uh, a book of Eurobios, but not going to waste for this one because uh, this one is pretty cheap to do. Instead, I will perform a uh, transmutation for these two and I can actually choose to trans transformation but that's not what we want I want to default the potential and default potential means that you want to X item of the X equipment of the one that you wish to enhance and it will give the equipment boost depending what kind of equipment you uh, want to Chess mute. You can find that source in the Japanese wiki that I've early mentioned. You can find all the lists. Just bear in mind that the names may not be exactly the same as the, the one that you're looking for in that main source because Google Translate isn't that accurate. So, alright. Step 2 done. Step 3. This ingredient is always the same regardless of which equipment you're going to X. And as you can see, the unicorns can be really used here as well because the great success doesn't exist for this one either. But yes, I don't want any failure or success. I want to use Book of Urbios. And as you can see, the success rate is guaranteed. And also, you can't also use the Wingless Dragon Book anymore because the game knows that it is a waste to use that if you use the Urbios book already. So. Yes, the great success rate is not guaranteed and I won't risk losing wasting these materials either. Only the main ingredient will be lost, but uh, that's not a problem, at least it will be succeed. So let's do this. Yeah, uh, here we go. And I would, I've been curious uh, what kind of transportation is kicks and... Oh! It changed into a genius rope. <laughs> I thought it was an uh, adept rope axe, but uh, apparently the properties uh, changed of this uh, cloth. <laughs> well, and I've been uh, not looking right, but uh, usually the equipment will turn into an axe item, but this one is apparently an exception. And I will also do the same for the Beerita. I think this one will uh, also change its name. Let's see about it. Also, the condition also changed that you need Alchemist Meister. You can obtain this title if you have Alchemy rank 50 or higher in base. Yes, I will transmit the date. And I will. Well, actually, it's a couple opportunities to show you. Actually, wait, not for this one because. Uh, Base rate is not fit for the graph style only showing soon. Uh, let's see. I'll go for this one, Wingless Dragon. It can be frustrating because uh, sometimes the rates 
aren't coming out as you want. Like I've twice failed. All in here. Well, I should if we have a, a second M success, but apparently not. Oh. Finally. And this one also changed. Oh. And then. Well, I can equip it. Equip it, I can let me. Also, if you don't have me to climb it, you can also not to check what kind of, of equipment effect to rank is. So you, so bear in mind that uh, you need to have all the requirements in order to equip them before you can check the equipment effect. So that's for the transportation. I will also show you an example of how to forge a gear for transportation, which is another possibility to do instead that you need to use those forging tools and uh, a benefit of it is this can't be used on equipment usually but with transportation you can actually increase the attack power of it which is pretty handy and which uh, I exactly want I need to get the main ingredient for it because uh, for the increase of the attack power I need increased solution one of the most important parts for me because uh, I want to create my monster gear that I called of carnage gear or god gear. I've always liked to try out uh, how it feels to have this uh, full powered gear that you can make even game by yourself. It's pretty awesome because in uh, OGP time they have to remove those forging tools that uh, were inaccessible for the place that came from the OG planet generation. So all the players were kind of in advantage, which kind of made disappointed me. But uh, this alchemy transmutation made this possibility, so it uh, doesn't matter anymore. Which is pre pretty nice. I've also made my calculation. I need about uh, a total increase of 100 attack on my equipment. This is one, two, three, four. So. Each one 25. Uh, actually, 100 attack. It uh, takes 100 uh, times successes, but with the book of unicorn, it is half it, and also the material use are also costs are also half as well, which is also pretty good. And I will sh show you soon the cost-effective way to perform um, this kind of transportation. Let's see, let's get the solution out of it. I will only show one uh, equipment part uh, of the entire uh, progression that I made because doing all the four will take a lot of time and I believe the video is already pretty long again <laughs> so sorry for that <laughs> uh, right. I may now not have covered every everything about this but I hope it shows you I made the main picture of it and if you have any question about it you can always ask well let's see well as you can see the usual success rate will be 15% uh, which is very low Atlantis was out so thanks to the ancient research it has increased with 20% as well it is 55 uh, 35% it is still pretty low and Actually, in my feelings and in my eyes, I think uh, it will be cheap if I go a bit higher, like uh, 60% to prevent less failure and save more materials. But you can't really tell by by this look that you are saving more materials by it. So I made some mathematics uh, behind, and from this one, from base still each step of the cost that will increase and and I've made an uh, ex 
pixel sheet about it and uh, cop copied every graph that I've made. Let's see if I can find one. There we go. Uh, as you can see, I have made a graph for every single one with a different base success rate. One for 50. 35% which we are doing, the one for the 25% and the one for the 50%. The main one, reason why I'm showing this is it depends whenever it is worth it to increase your base success rate over the material cost because every time that you increase your base success rate by 5%, the material cost increase by 20% rounded down and you have to know that does the success rate in ratio goes higher over the material cost? So I made these graphs, and it is about uh, and uh, it, uh, I've put the uh, special purchasing bond cost over the the uh, base success rates uh, on the column uh, graph, and and the vertical as represents how many purchase bonds it costs for me to achieve about 50 successes in so many anthems I make and that many anthems has uh, been timed up with the special purchase bond cost that I've made so for example uh, for the left one uh, it will be for 35% with 50 anthems it will take roughly about 1 171 anthems to make uh, 50 times success and if you do 171 times 5 special purchase point that will be need you get about uh, you get about 700 uh, special purchase point that you may need which is pretty a lot oh, wait I made some uh, One sec. Alright, back. <laughs> Sorry, because I made some uh, little miscalculation in my mind. It was apparently the, the number of atoms that take just to get 50 times success with 35%. It was apparently about 141, and that does go along with uh, that satisfied, satisfied condition that you. with times 5 special purchase bond, which is roughly 700. And as you can see, at 35% you can uh, see that the success rate is increased by 5% but at the same time the material cost is increased by 20% and if you uh, calculate uh, how much increase it is from 35% to 40% it's not even 20% so as you can see the material uh, cost is increase is greater than the, su than the success rate increase in general so you can see that uh, you need more special purchase bond the more success rate increase you apply on this one so for the base rate above at the uh, 35% it's not wise to do that then if you look at 25% it looks all the same because if you increase the success rate with one step from 25% to 30% it increases exactly 20% while at the same time the material cost also increased by 20% so by uh, those two uh, goes with the uh, same slope so you can see that the column shows all the same here over the special purchase bond cost and then you have the also I've show, also shown an example with only 15% and here as you can see if you increase the base success rate here from 50% 20% this increase is above 30% actually at least which is in ratio much more than the material cost in general so for this one it is really advised then to do uh, to increase the success rate of it even it will cost more materials but in ratio you will have more success rates only exception for that is that the origami cost shouldn't increase with it because origami cost will be doubled if you go the maximum increase so I will go for the the second maximum uh, increasing step because the, then the origalum cost isn't doubled it will be still rounded down 
So in uh, to summarize this, if the base success rate for the transmutation is below 25%, then it's worth it to increase the success rate of materials with the Urobos technique by maxima, max, maximum of 5 times depending on your alchemy rank. And 25% exactly, it doesn't matter what you do with it, you can play with it, but I would rather keep it at the same rate. And then, for the main purpose that we will do with this equipment, I would say don't change the success rate at all because it will cost a radio more. So, we will do with this enter. And as you can see, since it's a, a forging gear, same with, along with the piecing power, the book of unicorn can be updated. And you can also do this as well, but keep also in mind the material cost increases with this as well. And the worst thing is, if we optimize this one, let's be honest, who wants to pay so much uh, material for this kind of uh, rates? I don't understand what the why Kui decided to make the success, the secret tech very expensive uh, in manual general this it means actually except for the success rate you can't do make use of these tools because the material cost will be tremendous height so the only way to update the wingless dragon secret check or the unicorn is by using the book itself actually. and this is what I advise to do for now unless Kui will update in the future to make it cheaper which I truly hope I have uh, I will need about uh, 740 10 million shacks, 740 special purchase bond, and about uh, 428 uh, English solutions. So that is uh, pretty a lot. But this also in in free with the average success rate I made. I can be very very lucky that I need less, but also very bad luck lucky that I may need more. And let's see how much special purchase bond I have. In theory, I I will let's see if I calculate well. And how many amps it takes. It will take about 190 special purchase for average with the current rate. So if this runs out before I can max this equipment, then I'm pretty bad, bad lucky guy. <laughs> so let's hope it's not the case. But yes, this is the last part of the transmutation that I will, I will show you, and then I will close video. But let's uh, do the main work that I've been waiting for. The unicorn is lost if you uh, even if it uh, fails. So apparently I'm not that lucky. I can tell you right now. And this is the moment that you can rage actually because sometimes the rage aren't great. It's like confusion. It worked out, but I've uh, already in a way too much fails already, which is bad. At this point, I can't tell myself that I am not the luckiest guy here. I have enough figure. Well, it goes a bit better, but uh, I still have no good feeling about it.
you get here also alchemy experience as well. Usually it will increase attack power by plus one, but uh, when you use the unicorn book and uh, use guaranteed bonus experience rate, then it will give plus two instead. Same for the plates that you will do and for the cannon piecing power. This can be helpful and they are fortunately cheap to buy. Solution is out. I need to get more. I've, uh, I don't need to get to the bank so I can get out of this one. Plan is my figure. Transmutation and transformation is also a lot of figure, which is uh, a bit of shame, but it's not that bad. That is the reason why you have to pet patience because sometimes I feel I've bad luck and I'm already a bit mad about this. Julia madness is that first fusion now this one and it's actually a money sink as well as it takes checks away. It isn't smart of to do that. I need to. Uh, I need three times as success. Almost there. Twenty. It has almost reached the maximum capacity already. I can't tell whether if I'm lucky or not. That's too. I'm lucky. And hooray, it's a max forked attack. Awesome. <laughs> Let's see how many eager supplies I've used. Hmm. Uh, I used uh, 175. I'm in a quad progression. I've used 175 special. Which is pulled, and the total I will need in theory was 740. So I have been slightly lucky for this one, and I'm glad. I will show the rest uh, of the equipment later on the description because the video is already long, and I don't want to <laughs> make you guys sleepy about it. But back to my desk. I will act as I, as I am a professor. <laughs> so DC Esla, she is, she has all the production skills, so not to get gassy. Anyway, guys, back to the main main title again. This video is a pretty long, but uh, I had to explain. I tried my best to explain any every detail I could uh, provide to you guys. How the experimenting work, how the transformation and transmutation works. Oh wait, I also forgot something to mention. In order to perform the transformation and the transmutation, you need also to complete the quest uh, Egypt and At Atlantis. And that quest requires a pre-discovery of the Cos Cosmos Palace, which you can uh, get the quest from Venice, which I will also provide in the link in the uh, of description uh, about it. So you have to do that quest uh, and receive a letter for the Parcelous Estate from Venice before you can perform transformation or transformation or, or transmutation. 
but for extra movement, you have all you have to do is you make sure you have the alchemy job and alchemy skill itself. Alchemy skill can be actually actually learned without the job after a certain uh, update. But I still recommend to learn it while you have the alchemy job. As I mentioned in the previous video, it is pretty tedious to grind. May you have any questions regarding the experimenting, the transformation, transformation or the transmutation? Feel free to ask. I'm not the only one here that has experience regarding this, but I will be willing to show this video because I doubt there are any main sources that will provide this info except the Japanese wiki transforma transformation and transmutation. But it is a bit complicated, but once you get it, uh, you will go really far. I hope this video has been helpful to most of you, you all. Sorry if it took a while that I made this video and if my explanation were a bit sluggish again. And I made a little interruption because it was a bit hard to prepare this one. But I do really appreciate uh, any comments or likes that you guys leave. And the next video maybe comes soon but uh, for now I will be really busy with the Atlantis. The next video maybe I'll uh, regarding the blessing crystals if, if I have time to do that because I have enough shipbuilding a quest. Anyway, I will see you guys next time and thanks for watching. Cheers!